Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a Joe Biden moment when I was first recording this. I couldn't remember the girl's name. Her name was Tulsi Gabbard. Watch this. So I told y'all yesterday, I said, listen, I said, here's the problem that the Democrats is running into. I said, you know, last week was their convention. And it ended on Thursday, and it was supposed to be this high note. And everybody was like, yay, Kamala, yay, Kamala, Mala, hey, Kamala. And then come Friday, RFK comes over, and he says, I'm endorsing Donald Trump with his raspy voice because we need to fix the food and the medicines and the decision, right? And then we go on to Saturday, Sunday, that's the talking points. Now, Sunday resets the media cycle. So coming into Monday, they got to get on the good foot. They lost the media cycle for the week of last week, even though they had a convention. They still lost the cycle, right? Because what ended the news week going into the weekend, the high note was RFK Jr. joined Donald Trump. Come Monday, we still talking about RFK. And then on top of that, here come Tulsi Gabbard hopping on board. And RFK Jr. saying more and more Democrats are coming on board. And I told y'all yesterday, I said, I don't know how they're going to wrestle back this news cycle from um, the Trump administration. And so they crazy. So yesterday they tried to wrestle it back, but they crazy. They dumb. I I'm going to tell you something. This is the dumbest endorsement I ever seen in my life. It is dumb. But I'm thankful for it. I'm going to tell you why I'm thankful for it. You see, when it says 200 former Bush and McCain and Romney staffers endorse Kamala for president. It doesn't say Bush, McCain, and Romney endorse. It says former staffers, which is fantastic. You want to know why? Because you just lined up and listed everybody that needs to be removed from the government. Thank you. We appreciate you identifying yourself. Now, this is supposed to be symbolic of, okay, if my staffers endorse her, that means that we endorse her. But they didn't have the balls to come out and just endorse it of themselves. So watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. And now to the race for the White House. More than 200 Republicans who worked for both former President Bush's Senator John McCain and Senator Mitt Romney have endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for president. Nobody give a damn. The group penned a letter saying in part, democracy would be, quote, irreparably jeopardized by another Trump administration. Stop, pause, get jiggy with it. Let's translate what was said. Their existing democracy, their two party, one party rule will be destroyed if Donald Trump became elected again. Where have we heard that before? We heard somebody else say that, right? We heard somebody else say it. We heard the money people say it. We heard the profit of the World Economic Forum say it. You know what? I'm going to show it to you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show it to you. Take a look. All right, we back. Watch this. So, I love it. It's amazing. They're so dumb. Like, who is consulting you? Who's telling you what to do? Whoever you have hired that told you that this was a great idea is a bumbling baked potato head idiot. But I, I love to see it play out. Joining me for more on this is the Harris on the Harris campaign is CBS News campaign reporter Aaron Navarro. Aaron, how significant is it? Is his his name is who? Navarro. That this new GOP group is. My man don't look like no Navarro. Is putting support behind Harris. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna sound insensitive. But if he don't look like some kind of Chinese spy that they done hired and gave him a name and let, let me just go back. Hold on. Campaign to CBS News campaign reporter Aaron Navarro. Aaron, how significant is it that this new GOP group is putting support behind Harris? Well, good morning. This was actually a group of folks. Some of them did the same letter for president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say his name is Aaron Navarro. Aaron. Navarro. That, that, that's upside down. President Biden's campaign in 2020, about 150 
former Republican presidential administration staffer signed a similar letter saying that electing Trump is untenable. You're seeing 200 this time for Harris, and they range from, you know, former interns on the campaign for John McCain in 2008 to a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just lined up to make sure they never get a position in the federal government again. And if the Trump administration ever looks at one of my videos, I want you to be clear, Don Don, all 200 of these jackasses, y'all need to just take their names and make sure they never, I'm talking about any clearance they got, anything they got to do with anything, they get bust out of government. Anything they got going on. You need to take the clearances of all the rest of them people too. So they can't be running around selling their influence because they got a secret I got a secret clearance. I can I can get you access. Now take all them clearances. That's the only thing they're selling. Is their access. Take all of them. Now, what does this mean? Why is this significant? It's significant for multiple reasons. Number one, it's significant because this was the best shot they could take to try and take the narrative over. Um, this hit CBS News 16 minutes ago and had 794 um, 797 views the fact of the matter is this them people don't mean nothing and this is the best shot that they could take because you can't have Bush come out you can't have McCain is dead but you can't have his daughter come out because she's hated and you can't have Romney come out Bush is eh, people don't really care for Bush, but Bush been quiet. McCain's daughter don't nobody give a damn about her, and Romney ain't nobody supporting him. If y'all had the Kahuna's, y'all would just come out and just adore the lady yourself. And they may do it by the end of the week, depending on how the news cycle goes. If they keep getting trounced in the news cycle like they've been getting in Molly Wap, they may have to roll out McCain and Romney. So now it's clear as day. You have, there are no more party lines as it pertains to politics. None whatsoever. Now, here's where the problem comes in for somebody who's been a long-term Democratic supporter. If you really are a long-term Democrat, you've been told that McCain, that Bush, and that Romney are all bad people. They, they're all bad guys. And so now your candidate is getting endorsements from the actual like field workers, not field workers, the foot soldiers of the bad people. And you don't realize that something's wrong. This is the risk in making this move. It's crazy. It's so easily exploitable. I'm hoping. And I pray to God that, my, that McCain's daughter comes out and that Romney comes out and go stand on the stage with Kamala. I don't think Bush gonna do it. Bush ain't that crazy. Bush Bush got too much of a legacy that he won't protect. But I believe McCain's daughter and Romney may go stand on stage with him. Boy, when I tell you, it's gonna be a beautiful sight. It's gonna be the greatest blunder in American politics. And it's gonna be greater than all the other blunders that they made. Please do it. Please, please make the blunder. Please make the blunder. I'm out of here.